Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine, it's Commander Belay and this is your preview for the Fulham vs Chelsea game which will be taking place tomorrow at Craven Cottage, 5.30pm evening kickoff in London and um, what a game, what a game, usually I want to be saying that against Fulham, Fulham you know they were you know tipped to go down initially at the start of the season but Scott Parker he's done some magnificent things at club in the last few weeks, had a massive turnaround, we'll be delving into all the tactics, um, my predicted lineup, what Lampard stated in his press conference will also be going over my thoughts between score prediction and how Fulham have done so well in recent weeks and their results and what to expect from tomorrow's game but before I do get into it make sure you smash like button subscribe hit the bell notification and comment down below your score predictions and your thoughts opinions down below but without further ado let's get straight into tonight's preview now starting off with the press conference Frank Lampard yesterday conducted this press conference for tomorrow evening's game and he started off with um, a fitness update the fitness update and it was positive for the first time in quite a few weeks. Uh, he said that we're all good. We haven't got any, you know, sustained injuries. There's not a single player of any knocks or long-term injuries. So, again, fantastic news. Um, however, N'Golo Kante is suspended from this game as he already picked up enough yellow cards. And therefore, you know, uh, he won't be featuring in tomorrow's game because he's suspended. He's not injured. He's just suspended. That's why it's going to be quite interesting when I reveal to you guys my predicted lineup because... Obviously, that's going to have to you know, be a massive shake-up in that midfield, but I'll be delving into that later in this preview. Now, as he continued in the press conference, he said, on the upcoming derby against, Fulham, uh, derby against Fulham, Lampard says it is an exciting fixture and one he has always felt has an extra edge to it. He notes that while different from other derbies, he says Fulham always wants to beat us. Frank says he's always feel, feeling the pressure managing a club like Chelsea during positive periods as well as tougher runs. It focuses the mind. The pressure has always been there even during a good run. He then essentially goes on to say that he believes he and the players are doing their best to follow the COVID protocols during this difficult time. There are meetings planned to reinforce that. Football has always been a game to on instinct and that's not easy to take away but we're trying to adapt. He recalls that Scott Parker's diligence, good football brain, determination and preparation as a player suggesting those attributes have always made him feel his former teammate could go into coaching if he wanted to. He was then asked about Timo Werner and he said Lampard says it's normal for him and the others to take time to get used to new ideas such as pressing from the front. He has the recent time and training has helped with this and he expects his performances to get even better playing as the main striker. Finally, Lampard emphasises that Fikayo Tomori absolutely has a long-term future at this club. Whether or not he goes on loan this month, he says I have a long-term plan for him, he adds. And that's essentially wrapping up the main details of Frank Lampard's press conference. And there's a lot to digest there, there's a lot to take in. Now, initially what I'd say about the Fikayo Tomori thing is, as I said in earlier today in Chelsea Transfer News Daily, is that I think he's completely contradicting himself there. And the reason why I say this is, as confirmed by Fabrizio Romano, there probably will be an option to buy clause within Tomori's loan to AC Milan. Now, that begs the question, why is there going to be an option to buy inside? Because if Tomori does well at AC Milan, he enjoys life in Italy. AC Milan will activate that clause and he will then sign for AC Milan on a permanent deal. Therefore, Chelsea, he will no longer be a Chelsea player. That makes no sense. So where, where is this coming from, the fact that he has long-term future? Unless this news about him having an option to buy is complete nonsense, it's complete false. So we'll have to just wait and see on that one. Now, again, um, as I said, uh, talking about how Chelsea players are following the COVID protocols, our fitness update that all the players are ready and fit, raring to go tomorrow. And we'll have to wait and see. Listen, there are no excuses for tomorrow's game. Fulham, they played only a couple nights ago. They played against Tottenham, got a fantastic 1-1 draw away at Tottenham. Again, this is what I mean by Fulham and Scott Parker. I'll be diving into that. But they've only had three days to recover, which Chelsea only last time played on Sunday. So we've had six days to recover for this fixture. Now, here's what I'm going to say about this. We've also played Morecambe. So again, it wasn't even our proper first team. We still had some first teamers resting for that game. So we've had a lot more time to recover, to rest, rejuvenate compared to that Fulham squad. We have a deeper squad, a thicker, more quality squad. Again, no excuses for tomorrow. If we don't get the three points, Lampard's job is under scrutiny once again. You know, the pressure will build again, continuously. And again, this is a must-win game. I don't think I would have said this before. You know, Fulham away, you're thinking, ah... You know, relegation favourites, nice, easy three points and move on. You know, we've got some tough fixtures coming up. We've got Leicester City after this. Um, but this is a must win for Lampard's job. You know, if those players have got bottle, if those players are really back in Lampard, if they really support the manager, they'll go out there tomorrow. They'll put a top performance in, a professional performance, get the three points to come home. Simple as that. Yes, Fulham haven't lost in a while. They're unbeaten in, 
I'd say five, six games. They drew to Tottenham, they drew to Fulham, they won away at Leicester 2 1 as well. They've had some top performances. Don't don't get it twisted. They've had some fantastic results and fixtures. And listen, you know, with Scott Parker's how he's done, with that grit, that determination, that pressing style he's initiating and deploying at Fulham is fantastic. Ruben off the cheek is not playing for this game. Of course, he's playing against his parent club. And Guy says a player I'd look out for again: strong, physical, great on the ball, great you know technical ability. Uh, Tom Kearney is a good player as well. They've got some really good players in that Fulham you know first eleven. And if we're not careful, we will lose. You know, you are playing in the Premier League. You're playing against a Fulham side that's full of confidence, that's full of you know vibration. They're on a great unbeaten run. And if we if we're complacent in any situation, we will not come away with three points. We will not. And there's a good chance we could potentially lose this game. And I don't think that Lampard will be here if we lose this game. I generally don't think so. I think Roman will pull the trigger if we lose to Fulham. You know, his his position becomes un, unattainable. It's it's uh, it's unaccountable at that point. How can you have you know two wins in nine? One of them being Morecambe and still being a Chelsea job. You know, we'll be nine points adrift from top four. This is a must-win game. You know, this I cannot stress this enough. If we don't win tomorrow, forget, forget, not forget top four, but it looks makes things very difficult, and it makes things difficult for Lampard's position as well. Now, getting into my pretty good lineup for you guys. Now, as I said, Ingolo Kante suspended for this game, so therefore we will not be featuring in tomorrow's game. I'll be going for a four-three-three. I'll be going for Edouard Mendy in goal. I know he's had some poor form, but again, we're gonna have to go for him. Left back, I'm gonna go for Ben Chilwell. Right back, if Reece James is fit again, as Lampard stressed. Everyone is fit, so therefore Reese James hopefully is recovered from his knee injury and his knee knock. Reese James slots into that right back spot. Two centre backs off uh, Kurt Zuma and Thiago Silva. This is where things get interesting. Now, as I said, I'll go for a 4 3 3. I would go for Jorginho in his natural position. When I mean natural position, the deepest of the three, in the register slash position, there's a deep line playmaker role just ahead of the two centre backs. I would then go for Billy Gilmore in the right centre position. I'll go for Mace Smart left centre position for the pressing, for the energy, for the high intensive uh, you know, pressing, etc. Gilmore for the technical ability, passing range. Again, this is a bit risky from what I'm doing. Like I said, this is risky. You've got two, you got, you know, two lightweight players in there. You've got Jorginho and Gilmore. You know, essentially with uh, Fulham's physicality time in field, we could get overrun. However, Chelsea are going to dominate position. We're going to have most of the ball. So having technical players in there who's got good passing ranges, it will help uh, essentially break down the Fulham's low block. Um, so as I said, that's the midfield three I'd go for. I would then go for a front three. Callum Hunter-Doy is definitely starting this game for me. Definitely. He's been on some fantastic run of form and he deserves a start on merit. Callum Hunter-Doy in his natural left, uh, sorry, right wing position because I want Christian Pulisic on the left-hand side. I would then go for... Olivier Giroud is a number nine position. Timo Werner has been off form. Giroud start deserves to essentially start. And I'll go for Christian Pulisic and Callum Hustoy. Or alternatively, you could have Callum Hustoy on left wing and you could play Hakim Ziyech on the right hand side. But what is your predicted lineup? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. As I said again, let me stress this one more time. We have to win tomorrow. No ifs or buts. We have to win. Because if we don't win, see you later, Frank. See you later. And as it pains me to say it, he has to go. You cannot be nine points off the top four midway through the season, you know, lingering around nine four tenth with the investment that we made, with the squad that we have. Nah, it's not on. It's not acceptable. At a club like Chelsea, the stature of Chelsea, you cannot afford to lose these type of games. And we already have so far this season. So, again, tomorrow is a must win game. We have to get the three points. Come on, Chelsea, you can do this. You know, even though I'm Lampard out, I'm still going to back my team to win. I still want to see it. I would never ever wish my team to lose. So, come on, Chelsea. Go and get those three points. Make us proud. Make yourselves proud. And let's go on a massive run. Let's pick up some form. And let's go and get that top four. Score prediction. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea victory. What are you guys going to go for? Leave me your score prediction in the comment section below. But if you did enjoy this uh, video, to you, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I'll see you all guys for my next video. Peace.